How's it going everyone? This is Jake with my bring back continuing our series of uh, the tutorials with Apple iPhone and iPad app development and uh, launching into actually coding in the back end telling our buttons our labels etc what they're gonna do and so if you're uh, if you're new to this video series go back revisit some of the other videos so you can see where we're at how we got to this point um, and establishing the controller the view etc so what we've got here is we've got our interface builder and we put some text fields we put some buttons we put some labels so then we can combine them and actually uh, have our have our calculator function for us so we're gonna go ahead and actually define each of the buttons and each of the text fields etc so then we can go in and actually put methods to implement the code and tell the buttons and the text fields what they're gonna do so as you can see here we are in the XIB view controller and so if you're familiar with view based um, view based controller controller view based models etc basically we, we're looking at the view right now we're looking at what we would look at as if we're looking at the iPad the iPhone and then we're gonna go to the controller and we're gonna say we want you to talk to these specific objects and then we want from the view side different actions to happen based on the buttons they click etc and so that that uh, relationship there is, is seamless and that communicates within each other so you can see we're on the XIB the view we're gonna go into the uh, view controller dot H which is the header and this is where we're gonna establish our objects tell them that uh, you're an outlet and you're gonna accept this as your name and so go ahead and click into the dot H looks a little bit confusing at first but uh, we'll slowly start working in this and uh, developing what this is what this means and so what we're gonna do is right underneath um, this add interface your view controller UI view controller go ahead and click a return give yourself a little bit more space and we're actually gonna establish our objects as uh, outlets and the outlets talk from the controller to the view and they say what am I gonna do what am I, what are my functions um, so our first outlet and as you can see, as you start typing IB outlet, which is your your uh, your objective C, you're going to see an autocomplete starting to happen, which is great. Xcode 4 definitely helps out with uh, some of the little things that make uh, programming a lot more simple, a lot easier. So you can see we've got IB outlet. We're going to go space UI text field, and then we're going to establish this as, uh, and this could be anything you want. We're going to establish this as value one and so by putting value one we're saying the first text field is going to be your value one that we're going to add to value two because we're going to name the second text field value two so you can see at the end we put a semicolon very important you do that or else the uh, the outlet won't be established do the same thing with uh, your next text field establishing value two and then the last thing that we have to establish as an outlet is the label that the total is going to appear out of. And so again, outlet, UI, and instead of text field, we're going to define it as a label. And we're going to give it a name as total. And again, semicolon. Colon. Okay, so those are the three outlets that we have. And I'm going to flip over just to demonstrate. We've got an outlet here, um, which is our value one. Then we've got an outlet here, which is again a text field, which is going to be value 2. And then we have an outlet here, which is going to display the total for value 1 and 2. So now the only thing left on the header is we have to establish what these actions or what the, what the view is going to communicate to the controller. So we have two actions. We have a calculate action and we have a clear action. So going back to the view controller header, right after the bracket there you're gonna give yourself a little room and uh, you're gonna bracket an action so when you bracket that then you're gonna give it a name you're gonna say this actions name is gonna be calculate again semicolon at the end and then we're gonna define another action for the clear button just give them simple names so you remember so you can attach them later Okay, so now that we've got our outlets established and our actions developed, 
we're going to go back to the, the zip file, the, the view, and we're going to define what each is each. Because right now, this field right here doesn't know that it's actually value 1. And this field doesn't know it's value 2, etc., etc. So now we have to link them. So in linking them, basically we're going to draw a line to this file owners. And there's two different ways to do this. If it's an outlet, you think we're going to pull something out of the file owners and attach it to the outlet. If it's an action, we're going to say from the view, go and attach to my controller. Go tell my controller what your, your function is. So as you do this, you're going to hold control and you're going to take your file owners. And since we're coming out of the controller to the view, we're going to attach it that way. So you can see outlets, this little box appears. And we're going to define this box up here as value 1. Same thing with this box down here. Control, click, and drag value 2. And then we have this outlet down here, which is our label. And again, outlet, we're going to give it a, a tag as total. And then uh, again, as we, as we define these actions, the actions are going to go speak to the controller. So we're going to control, drag from the button, you can see the attachment, to our controller, our files owner. And we're going to give it the uh, the event of calculate, and then again, same thing with clear. Clear. So now what we've done is we've, we've established our outlets, our actions, our events that are going to take place within the communication between the controller and the view, and now we've attached those to our header file in our view controller. And so the next tutorial series, we're actually going to go through and establish our implementation, our method that uh, is going to define what each button does, what is, it, what is its function. So stay tuned. Um, again, subscribe. Let us know um, if there's anything you want us to specifically train on, go through with uh, the Xcode 4, etc. So look forward to uh, hitting, uh, hitting you guys up with the next tutorial series here.